Hello everybody. This is uh, just a test flight to see how the screen recorder works on my uh, cell phone here and also to do uh, a range test on my uh, DJI Phantom 3 standard. So typically I get about uh, 1.2 to 1.3 kilometers. Uh, yesterday I was flying in the same location. It was a clear night just like this and I actually ended up getting uh, 1.52 kilometers. So I'm just going to document this flight just to see if I can uh, uh, recreate the the same situation to see if I can get the distance. So I'm going to take off here. Google report has been updated. Take off. Okay. So my, my SD card is actually in the house. It's full and I just haven't had a chance to uh, to take the, the data off it, but I don't need to record for the... So... I didn't calibrate my compass, so it may go in or out. Okay, so here we go. Um, it's getting dark too, so I actually... Uh, let's see if we can get the camera going here so you can see better. So the flying's not going so well as of right now. I'm trying to adjust my camera and fly at the same time. And the, uh, the auto exposure is not working because I don't have my SD card in. So I'm probably just going to use this for my own benefit, this video, to see how I could do it better next time. So just to check the distance here we're at about 700 I'll stop right here 765 765 it keeps moving a bit 0.4 okay so I'm gonna keep moving forward here um, for some odd reason my data isn't working either because my signal is not my map's not coming up what is going on here this is just a bad flight all together magnetic field interference really Set it to Addy, see what happens here. So this is where I was last night. And the distance uh, past this house down here was at 1.5 clicks, roughly. So let's see if I can go back to GPS mode. Here we go. Yeah, so last night at about this, di yeah, this location, I was at 1,500. And here we go. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just... Reaching that now, I'm almost to 16. Wow, this is pretty good. 1600 meters. I'm at a weak signal here. I'm gonna just raise it up a bit to see if that'll pick back up. Wow, so the signal just went up again once I raised it up to about almost 90. Okay, so let's see if I can, 1,700. Eighteen hundred. I don't know why this is working so well. Oh my, there's the covered bridge. Okay, so this is the first time I have ever flown this distance. Wow. almost two kilometers. I'm going to try to get it. Just bring it up a bit more. Come on, two kilometers. Wow. And there's the covered bridge. 
Excellent. Okay, so I'm just going to start bringing this back now. I don't know why it's gone that far. So, I don't have any mods done to my my uh, my aircraft or my controller. I am uh, very high on a hill here, like where my property is. So maybe that's why. That's really cool how you can see the smoke like that. Maybe I should have recorded this with my SD card. I'll try to recreate this again tomorrow night. But uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool, pretty cool flight. I'm just going to keep bringing it straight back just so you can really see the distance that I've traveled. It's funny, the, it's still saying transmission signal weak, even though it's like within a kilometer range now, for some odd reason. There we go. So, no, still back to weak signal. Still a pretty good flight. Oh, now it's still a signal loss. That's not good. Let's see what happens here. back up it's it's funny why uh, we're getting this lost signal now okay so I'll cancel this return home Stop going home. I think the re part of the reason why is I was pointing off a little bit so I just I basically turned left because I knew where I saw where the uh, the drone was so, and now that I'm pointing my controller in the right direction I have a uh, good line of sight that's my property there you'll be able to hear the drone coming back very shortly there it is that's me down there the white spot It's a good flight. Two kilometer flight. Let's get a little shot here. Okay, I'm gonna actually just land this quickly and then end my recording. Okay, thanks for watching.